Good morning, UAMCC. That's my, the name of my video. It's Sunday morning, uh, I believe it is December nineteenth. Um, this is what I'm. This is what I'm uh, here to discuss about the UAMCC today. Um, the past is the past, and uh, I keep hearing about it. The past is the past. L let's let let's. That's right. Let's leave the past in the past. Here here's the things uh, about the past that were positive. The UAMCC uh, launched to about 160 members. Uh, today, it probably has less than 50. Uh, we don't even know because uh, those statistics haven't been put out there, uh, probably uh, for morale issues, and that's okay. Um, you, the, the UAMCC now, um, it, I mean, it really needs to do a, 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 f a few things. One, it needs to make a commitment uh, to the industry to attend the, the meetings throughout the year. If the UAMCC um, doesn't represent itself like it did uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, I'm afraid that this time next year, if it doesn't do that, um, it probably will be even less uh, of an organization than it is now. Um, I know that you guys behind the scenes uh, are working on some hard things. Um, I commend uh, Michael from Centex for stepping up as president. Um, Michael, um, you've got a lot of uh, influence uh, in the grease industry, more influence than I believe that you, that, that you, than you realize. Um, you know, it, one thing about it is, is the UAMCC is not a pressure washing organization. Um, some people want to believe that it is. Um, it was founded and never started as a pressure washing organization. Um, it was founded on a vision that it was a mobile cleaning organization and that it was going to represent multi-facets of the cleaning industry. Um, I think that this is a good premise and a good time for the UAMCC to revive that uh, um, motto. Uh, I believe that the UAMCC um, could be uh, that, in, that leader for the industry for uh, all organizations by bridging a gap um, between all of these organizations. Uh, I really believe that the UAMCC uh, can be represented by multifaceted uh, cleaning organizations throughout the country. And the organizations I'm talking about are ICA, um, the uh, IWCA, uh, even the new one right now, uh, Window Cleaning Resource Association uh, has just started. And I believe that if we, we reached out as uh, the UAMCC to these other organizations, um, not as their competition, um, but as a, another organization um, that's trying to kind of unite uh, the entire mobile cleaning industry, uh, I think the UAMCC would do, would do better. Um, we need uh, people in there from the window cleaning industry. We need people in there from the power sweeping. We need folks in there from the kitchen exhaust cleaning industry, uh, not just yourself, but others. Um, we, of course, we've got guys in there from the pressure cleaning industry. Uh, and all these guys are listening to these videos now and going, what are you talking about, Ron? You know, what do we need these landscapers? And yes, even the landscaping industry. Um, mobile cleaning contractors, the last time I checked at what the UAMCC acronym stood for, uh, it was United Mobile Cleaning Contractors. And that's exactly what the UAMCC should be. Um, we need to stop focusing on the shortcomings uh, and the things that are not happening, but embrace the idea that we can get people from different avenues of the mobile cleaning industry involved in this industry uh, and get them on board. And I'm telling you that I can see uh, the UAMCC in five years not extincting the IWCA or WCRA. Uh, I think that they could be working with them uh, to possibly unite all these associations to have a clear voice for the entire industry uh, and basically represent and pull together contractors because in numbers we are stronger. Um, in all these different facets of the industry, there's just not enough numbers to sustain, sustain a real strong powerhouse uh, organization. 
the strongest one we have is the kitchen exhaust uh, cleaning uh, organization. Um, and I mean, I don't want to downplay it. They're, it's impressive of what they've done. Um, Tim, Sean, those guys over there, I don't know what the new guys are going to do, but they did, a, they did uh, great things in the last five years. Nelson Dilg uh, did great things with that organization in the last five years. Uh, I hope that they stay on an upward tone, and I hope that uh, this new change for them is not a downhill uh, slide. Um, but certainly, uh, it's an opportunity uh, for uh, the UAMCC um, to embrace these organizations, let's say, uh, invite them, uh, have them be a part of uh, the association, and get some of these other contractors involved. If these associations don't want to be involved with it, fine. Get the contractors involved. Let's get this United Mobile Cleaning Association uh, started and get it really going in the direction of multiple contractors from the mobile cleaning industry. I mean, guys, it's a huge advantage that you have over all these other, all these other organizations. And again, I'm not trying to say we're trying to put anybody out of business because I'm going to tell you right now, join their, join their ranks. You could be helping them. Uh, IWCA by far has some of the best safety stuff in the industry for cleaners, some of the best. You got the PWNA even if you were to work with them. Some of the best uh, water reclaiming uh, guidelines that are coming around the corner for these contractors, probably uh, probably bar none. Uh, you know, we don't need to talk about the kitchen exhaust cleaning industry. Um, hands down, uh, they have the uh, best certification program in the industry. Uh, PWNA also has a, a kitchen exhaust uh, deal. They also have a wood certification. Uh, the uh, deck railing association. Um, the PWA sits on their board, uh, cross board, and they have a, they have switch spots for them that they uh, give their board members. So this is done in the industry all the time. Um, the UMCC just has to to start. They have to start somewhere. Uh, and I know that these guys. I don't want to downplay it. You know, Trevor Steele, the young guy, great guy, uh, doing good things for the industry. John Orr, man, heart of gold guy is uh, just out there wants to help uh, really good guy Scott Millen right now stepped down to vice president uh, probably a tough decision for him uh, but probably he did it for the betterment betterment of the association which I commend him for that um, Mike Mike T uh, from Centex steps up to president uh, good guy smart guy been around uh, the kitchen exhaust industry knows the industry knows the game uh, probably with uh, probably the most experienced veteran uh, at the UMCC right at this moment uh, and, and probably couldn't be the better guy to be in position uh, to try to take this org uh, into a uh, in, in, in take this org into the next uh, year here and, and try to really get something done with it um, I'm not begging I'm not pleading um, I just wanted to address this today uh, it was on my mind uh, Take it, leave it, talk about it, uh, make up controversy about it. Uh, good, bad. Um, this is these are the things that the association needs to focus on. Some people are going to say, "No, we need to just get to the basics of things and get members." Well, you got to you, you got to when you're getting members, one thing's got to be done is the board that's been not uh, um, active, uh, and I want to say active. The board that's been missing because they don't have a full board, that needs to get filled. And from there, every board member needs to take it upon themselves to get at least five or ten new people involved and get this organization moving forward with volunteers. Uh, that's the only way it's going to happen. There's a lot of people out there, if, if, if they saw an example, somebody uh, by, by leading, uh, they would follow. We know this from the past. Uh, if somebody uh, leads by example, uh, people will follow. Um, it's just, it's an old age deal. And, uh, you know, hey, guys, good morning. 
happy holidays. Have fun uh, over the holidays. Be safe. Uh, and look forward uh, look forward to talking to you again because I'm going to make some more videos about the UAMCC.